This is Sky One with Fall From Grace. Welcome to London, Major. How was your flight? Warm. Had anything to eat? My orders were not to eat, drink, sleep, or talk till I've handed this to General Ismay first. Then I'd better take you straight to the top, which is down here. This is the nerve center. We're far enough underground to be bomb-proof, but uh, we still say a quick prayer every morning that the pipes don't burst. I have Major O'Neill, General. This is an unmitigated disaster. Washington had picked up a signal. Hitler's guess we're planning to attack in Normandy. I'd better summon the Joint Chiefs right away. 
Oh, by the way, Squiff, um, Major O'Neill has been seconded to you for intelligence work until further notice. Ivan the Terrible had rather a quaint military tradition. He nailed the foot of a messenger who brought him bad news to the ground with a spear. On that basis, Major, I think we may have to spike both your feet to the carpet. Welcome to the nerve center of my particular operation, Major. Yes. Time's a crisis, we have to make do. Will you take tea? Um, no, thanks. Short of coffee, I'm afraid. Do sit. So, uh, what's the setup here? Our general purpose is to deceive the enemy as to our intentions. Specifically, we now have to convince Hitler and his generals the biggest lie in history. And our attack is not going via Normandy, but in the north. The code name of our operation here is Fortitude. Fortitude. Yes, strength. Optimism in all things. Well, now that you're here, I'll fill you in on how we function. The first US Army group, FUSAG for short, will be made up of two armies. First Canadian over there, and third US just over to the west a little. 25 divisions in all, five of them armored. Impressive, eh? Should convince it that we mean business, don't you think? You want me to build a whole army out of nothing? You were an architect before the war, weren't you? Yes, but I don't see what that has Roger to do. Recky. It's got to look good from the air, that's all. With respect, sir, that is just about the most insane thing that I've ever you heard. You have to convince Hitler that we have an army here large enough to attack Kelly. That's the only way you can keep all his defenses up there. And leave room for us to attack Normandy with the pitifully few troops we actually do have. Now, are you going to get on with it or just stand there being negative? Well, I guess if it's our only chance. Not just ours. All those poor devils still hanging on by their fingernails in France. Been to New York, Colonel? Several times. But never seen a Macy's Thanksgiving Day parade. Sadly, no. That's what gave me the idea. Who do you think makes those things? I have no idea. Good year. Okay, let's see it. Extraordinary. <laughs> now, one mold, and you can make as many as you want. Literally, four of them. You know, Major, I'm beginning to think you have a real talent for this line of work. Thanks, Colonel. Of course, we're still going to need a lot of buildings and different sorts of vehicles, some of which we'll actually have to move. I haven't quite gotten around yet, but... This is where you train your spies, hmm? Agents, please, Major. Agents.
But why here? Couldn't you have got me a studio at the BBC or something? For heaven's sake, we don't want the world and his dog to know what we're up to, do we? That's three gross per unit, you dummy, not per the division. engineers, where in the hell are those pontoon joiners we were promised That's a last month week? I'm waiting for those spares. 10,000 square feet of what did you say? I said recoverable, damn it. I don't care if you need gas. I need toilet rolls. How am I supposed to cook 10,000 breakfasts with one frying pan? Those damn shells should be here yesterday. You know it's been Every detail is consistent with the buildup of a massive invading force. Then we broadcast the recordings from radio vans circling the area where the army is supposed to be. They're awfully good, aren't they? Where did you find them? Actors get drafted like anybody else. Thank you. I think that worked pretty well. Hmm. Come with me. Meet an old friend of mine. He's the CEO here. Freddie. Squiff, how very nice to see you. I hope you find everything satisfactory. Couldn't be better, old man. This is Major O'Neill. Major, Colonel Cavendish. Glad to know you, Major. Likewise. I dare say we can rustle up a cold beer. I know you Americans have terrible problems over here in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> One of your most senior generals at GHQ has an English butler who insists on taking each bottle out of the fridge that he's had especially... Catherine! Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, very sorry. Catherine! Tom! I can't believe it. What are you? <laughs> Good. 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 You look great. Oh, thank you. I, I didn't expect to see you. No. Uh, what is this? What are you, a nurse or something? No, they make us wear this during training. Training? You mean you're... I can't talk about it. Can we go somewhere? going into France? Really, I can't talk about it. We've all had to sign something. You said in New York you were going back to Paris to be with your mother. Where is she? She was killed when the Germans invaded. Oh, I'm sorry. How did you get out? I got down to Bordeaux, showed them my English passport, told them my father had been a naval officer. Look, I know how you feel, but please think about what you're doing. You don't know how I feel. How could you? Look, I'm not the same person you knew in America. You better get used to that. Listen to me. I can find you a job in intelligence here in this country. You'd be invaluable with your knowledge of France. But much more use over Don't there. you know the risks that you're taking? I can't talk about Catherine, it. Catherine, please. They've killed my father, murdered my mother, half my friends, and they're in my country. I have to fight them. Not from a safe distance making phone calls and reading maps. I mean fight them. Can't you understand? Excuse me, sir. Colonel Cavendish's compliments. I shall have to ask you to accompany me back to his office. Yeah, one minute. Right away, sir, if you wouldn't mind. Everybody there is going behind enemy lines. I know that. In that case, there's no excuse. She's someone I know from New York. If they're caught, they talk. Everybody talks under torture. Everybody. So what did you tell her, Major? I told her nothing. Are you quite sure? Of course. Think back. Everything you said. Look, I think I'd know if Some I told small her detail. Nothing. I'm sure of it. All right. I'm glad to hear it. Compromising an agent is a court-martial offense. Don't risk it again. Every agent has his or her own fist. That means the way you use your key. It's like a signature. It comes naturally, and your control will be trained to recognize it, regardless of your coded ID. Now, I'm going to ask each of you to key out the message you've been given. Catherine, we'll start with you. Alex, I heard a rumor that you're going back into France. Is it true? Yes. I thought it was unheard of to send an agent back in so soon. Nothing's unheard of in war, Catherine.
This way. Welcome to Paris, Mr. Wilde. I'm not going to make you any false promises. Our prisons are not health spas. But I can promise you one thing. If you cooperate with me, you will survive. I'm offering you that chance. Tell me, what was the code phrase you employed for your transmission when you were last here in France? One wise man's verdict outweighs all the fools. Well, you mustn't lie to me, Mr. Wilde. Your code was, oh, Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. We have this file on you. We broke your code when you were working as a radio operator with the resistance in Troy. We read every message you sent and every one that you received. We only let you go home last time because we wanted London to remain ignorant of just how much we know. But now, Mr. Wilde, now we are going to make use of you. When I return, you will tell me where you were going who were your contacts, and how to use this new code that we found in your belongings. And I advise you not to waste my time. Coming in low level, bearing 170, about 40 miles from us. Wait for it! Engage, but on no account damage or destroy. Is that clear? I'm sorry, sir. I don't quite understand. No, nor do I, but it's obviously not our business to. The powers that be want this chappy in and safely off again with his holiday snaps. So put up a good show. And easy on the heroics! Bravo to Tango, Foxtrot. Engage, ready to limitation as ordered. Repeat, as ordered. Over. Tango, Foxtrot, please come in, Mr. Wright. Base call, Bravo to Tango. 
Tango Foxtrot. Break off attack and return to base. Return to base. Acknowledge, over. Tango Foxtrot to base. Get rid of him. just arrived from Berlin. One of our planes finally got through and managed to get a close look at what's going on. As you can see, the Allies are building up a sizable force. The Führer is convinced that the invasion, when it comes, will be on the Normandy beaches. His generals, on the other hand, believe it's more likely to be aimed at Calais, and these pictures would appear to support that. What is your own belief, Herr Oberstuhlmann Führer? My belief, my dear doctor, is that if we continue to play the game we have in mind over these next few months, then we shall get a clear answer, one way or the other, in good time to ensure victory. Catherine, you've known since you joined us that everyone in this organization is a volunteer. As a wireless operator, your chances of a safe return are a little better than 50-50. The decision to go or not must be yours. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Very well. Your ration card. Your carte d'identité and your pass for the zone interdite along the French sea coast. Catherine Pradier, for the time being, no longer exists. Officially, from now on, you are Alexander Boineau, a 26-year-old divorcee from Calais. Your code name in the resistance is Denise. Yes? Thank you. It looks as if the weather's holding. You're on for tonight. She has been practicing for weeks from the recordings we made of Bile's earlier messages. It is impossible that London will know the difference. And what you propose to have her say? I am safely installed and will commence broadcasts as scheduled. Cafe Flow on Bethune Road still secure. That means that any agent in the area who needs to get a message back to London will automatically drop it and themselves right into our lap. But what will they do when they don't see the owner in the cafe? Most of them only know the address, not the owner. For those who do, he and his family are away on personal business. And the man, our man behind the bar, is a cousin from Poitiers. Poitiers? Yes, that's far enough away. Very good, Doctor. Sooner or later, the Allies are going to whisper the secret of their invasion right into our ear. It's inevitable. Now, let's get out of this depressing little town and back to Paris. if you would, miss. Just a couple of last details. Here's your knife. Spring's here. Here's your pistol. Mauser point three two. Magazine's loaded. Safety catch here. I know you've been taught how to use it. Benzedrine, if you have to keep going. Never more than one in 12 hours. Otherwise, you may never go to sleep again. Hold out your hand, miss, would you? 
been told about this, I know. Yes. They make them that shape so you can never mistake them for anything else, even in the dark. 30 seconds and it's all over. I'm told it's not painful. Would you give me your right shoe, miss? If you'd like to place the pill in the cavity. It's very unlikely anybody will find it there. Best try it, miss. No, I think that's everything. I'm calling from London. No, London. Wait, don't put me on hold. I've been trying to... Damn it. Terrific. Now the line's dead. How hard can it be to get a hold of three circuit testers and a box of sapphire playing needles? Trouble with your radio trucks? Just maintenance. Good night, Major. Don't work too late. You will start to put down roots, like a gooseberry bush. And then where would you be? She's right, you know. That's my new assistant, by the way, Deirdre. <clears throat> Have a glass of the Macallan? Best offer you all get all night. Where's she going? Well, I don't know how I suppose we're Not your assistant. You know who I mean. Which part of France? Oh, I couldn't tell you that, even if I knew. You have no need to know. But do you know? You have no need to know that either. Cheers. You OK? They don't train us for this. Sorry. We've got to keep low to avoid air patrols. We have to stay wide to avoid radar. We've got to duck and weave to beat the ground flak. Can you see anything? Tour coming up. We'll be down soon. Keep your eyes peeled for some lights. Ah, there we are. Brace yourself. We're landing there. Looks more dangerous than it is, especially from here. Don't worry. Twenty nine life feet for the boys in the mess. Thanks. Okay. This is Paul. He'll take care of you. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, Mike, ah. what are you doing? If we stopped, you don't want to have mud in your shoes. Oh. Can you ride a bike? Of course I can ride a bike. Some of them can't even do that. Now listen, Dennis. We have five kilometers to do to our safe house. Stick right behind me and do exactly as I do, okay? If we hear a car, we hide. It will either be a German or black market here. No one else is out after curfew. Come. This is our dinner if anybody asks. We're coming up to the village. Everybody should be asleep. But if you do see anybody, don't talk unless I give you a lead. Papers. In order. I and my man. Your shoes. I want to see them.
Your paper. Now, madame, perhaps you will tell me what you're doing wandering around the countryside of saint martin le beau at two o'clock in the morning when your ID card says you live in Calais. Monsieur, only one thing in the world could get me to some godforsaken place such as this. We were hoping that no one would see us and tell his wife. But I'm sure I can trust you. Couldn't you help me get him to Calais to work on your famous Atlantic Wall? I promise to see he gets to work on time and stays home at night, too. I'm sure you would, madame. Good night, madame. Good night. That would be Marie? Yes. Good. Oh, put that on the luggage rack, then go and sit two or three carriages away. The Germans like to make spot checks. And if they find you sitting underneath a radio transmitter, well, after an hour, come into the dining car. I'll find you there. All right. Now I get some sleep. Good night, Denise. Good night. London Control. Yes, this... Seven so far, at least 20 injured, some badly. This is a nightmare. It must have been desperate to try this with the state of their air power. At least it proves our little bag of tricks is working better than we dared hope. But we obviously can't go on with it. What on earth do you mean? I mean, people have been killed here. It's one thing to fool the Germans into thinking we have an army out there, but when innocent people start getting innocent killed, innocent people suffer in all wars. That's unavoidable. Still no excuse We're to deliver war, damn it. We don't need excuses for what we do. I'm sorry, I don't agree with that. I can't be a part of this anymore. May I remind you, Major, that you're under my orders, and I've absolutely no intention of dispensing with your services. Look, I understand how you feel, believe me. But we have no choice other than to win this war by any means necessary, even at the cost sometimes of innocent lives. If you can't live with that, Major, think of the alternative.
I offer you a seat. Thank you, monsieur. There are Germans everywhere. You better get used to it. Waiter, a couple of menus, and then wine this, please. There is a change of plan. Why are you staring at me? You look so different. The more prosperous you look, the more likely it is that they'll take you for a collaborator or a black marketeer and leave you alone. I always had a copy of this. It's a collaborationist rag, but it really shows those bastards when they're running an ID check. The REF bombed Amiens last night. There'll be no trains to Calais for a while. So what do I do? Do you know Le Jardin du Luxembourg? Yes. Meet me there two hours after we get off the train. Oh, now what shall we start with? No, thank you. I can... Please. Um... Oh, my God. What have you got in here? A machine gun? Three. <laughs> then you must allow me to carry them for you. That would be very kind. Uh, perhaps we could meet for a drink tonight. Thank you, but I'm just passing through. Where to? Calais. I live there. I'm stationed just outside Calais. You must give me your address. That would be nice, but my family, it's difficult. You understand. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, listen, uh, do you know a cafe called Les Trois Suisses? Yes, I do. I, I often take an aperitif there in the evenings. Perhaps we shall meet one night. I'm sure we shall. Ooh. Mademoiselle? Thanks for your help. Try to remember your name, damn it. You haven't seen me for six months. You're almost crazy for missing me. Didn't they teach you anything in that training school? Not this. Just what I say, trust me. I nearly died when I saw you with that German. <laughs> you nearly died. We're here. They raid ordinary hotels all the time. I suppose if anyone raids this place, it'll be the vice squad. I promise you, I know what I'm doing. I promise you, you better had. I will sleep on the floor. Don't you have anywhere you can stay? I have, but I'm thinking of you. I'll try not to, all right? <laughs> you don't understand. In a place like this, a woman alone will attract attention. The wrong kind of attention. You will not like it. Okay. I suppose you're right. Denise, I'm sorry about this place. Believe me, it's the best way to hide. I'll make it up to you. How? 
At least I can still dine well in this city, if you know the right places. Now, uh, we'll have what George recommended in the kitchen. The baby spring lamb roasted in rosemary and thyme, with a cheese souffle to start, and a bottle of honey Roman in 1934, please. Do you realize that you couldn't get a dinner like this anywhere in the whole of London tonight? Tonight? Oh, you never could. This place must cost a fortune. I am paid for what I do, you know. Enough at least to eat well. I figure if I ever have to face a German firing squad, at least I'll do it on a full stomach. Do we have to go and play acting? Yes, we do. What else would a young couple be doing here? I suppose there's some German here who was on the train. This morning we just met, tonight we're behaving like lovers. So? Isn't that going to look strange? <laughs> Only if you're English. Are you? Trust me, I know what works here. Do that again, and I'll smack you in the teeth, all right? And if you say trust me once more... Our first quarrel. How romantic. We're not having a quarrel. We don't know each other well enough to quarrel. Oh, but they don't know that. To hell with them. I'm afraid we can't say that. One wrong move and we die. Are very beautiful, Denise. And I want to keep you alive. I try to be a gentleman about it. Shall we? Mm. Just going to the ladies' room to steal the soap. Mm. Come join my friends and make one of night camp. Then we'll all go to the lead rooms. <laughs> Get lost, the black market shrine. The little lady's with us now. Aren't you shy? Sure no, Paul, don't. A disgrace to your uniform, Colonel. Sit down and control yourself in a manner becoming the German Reich. My apologies, Mademoiselle. Such behavior is intolerable. Thank you. Thank you so much. That. I don't know. This type of problem, eh? But I'm glad he was on our side. That's a joke. You know what I was most afraid of? <laughs> you were going to use some of those moves they teach you in SOE and break the guy's neck. I don't think I wasn't tempted. How many ways do you know to kill a man? Do you want to try me? <laughs> no, no, no. Perhaps I should take a walk for 10 minutes to let you settle. I know before I come back here. Thank you. Wait. Gestapo. Before the war? A flyer. You mean planes? A pilot? Yes. And you? Oh, I was just a student. What kind of a student? Medical. 
I was going to be a doctor. And you're still going to be a doctor, aren't you? Let's see when all this is over. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll keep flying. That's all I've ever done. I was already flying down to Barcelona, flying planes for the Republicans during the Spanish Civil War. I've always been a rebel. Like all the Catalans. So why aren't you flying now? <laughs> Because this is where they want me. They? Mm. The people we're not supposed to talk about. Where were you born? Beauvoir. My father was a doctor in Beauvoir. It's a tiny little place. You wouldn't know it. I know exactly where it is. South of Perpignan, near the Spanish border. How do you know that? I've lived half my life in France. My father was English. He raised horses in Newmarket, in Normandy, where he met my mother. Is your mother still alive? No. No, they're both dead. And your parents? My mother died before the war. Maybe she was lucky because my father was killed helping people escape across the Spanish border. You understand why I'm fighting this war? Yes. I understand. goes back and forth all the time and never gets bothered. The Germans let them run a little fishing fleet up there. Half for us, half for them. If you ever have to cut and run, you know how to contact me. Yes. He's waiting. Hold me. So, tell me, who was that lovely creature you were dining with last night? <laughs> It's an interesting story. Can I help you, Major? 
No, I mean, uh, thank you. I can manage. The thing is, you see, access to these files is restricted to Colonel Ridley and me, of course, as his assistant. Well, the Colonel asked me to look up something for him. Are you sure he didn't ask you to ask me? Well, as a matter of fact, he did, but I didn't want to bother you. It's no trouble. What was it he wanted? There's some details on one of our agents in France. That's SOE. Initial? P. Here. No, oh, it's okay, really. I can find the stuff now that you've shown me where. All right. If you're sure. No, I appreciate your help. You're very welcome. I'll let the Colonel know you've got the information if he wants. No, I mean, uh, he's in with the Joint Chiefs. I'll just take care of it. As you wish, Major. Morning, Major. Colonel, I thought you were a... I was. In... No, I'm not. Deirdre, eh? Deirdre is no longer part of this section. What? I suppose I should give you seven out of ten for initiative. I told Deirdre that I was acting for you. It was my fault. No, it was hers for being so easily taken in. Look, Colonel, as an intelligence officer in the United States Army, I have been officially cleared of all suspicions of being a German spy. Now, Tom, you know that isn't the issue. This is a personal thing. It's you and Miss Prandier. So, now I know she's in Calais. Why shouldn't I know that? Because however hard you try not to, you will use that information, either to protect her or to warn her. Your judgment is influenced. You are less used to me than you were. With all due respect, Colonel, that's nonsense. Thank you, Major. Your view is noted, if you please. Please come in. My wife. Glad to meet you. And uh, my number two, Pierrot, you've already met. Well, I suggest we get down to business. I believe you have something for me? Yes. This one, with a notch. Sarah, pull the curtains, please. have you come to the most dangerous city in France. You have come with the most difficult task I can imagine. The Lindemann battery. The most powerful land-based artillery battery in the world. Each shell weighs 1.4 metric tons. Several of them 
I've landed more than five miles inland from Dover. Their arc of fire is 120 degrees, which gives them complete command of the channel. No landing between Dunkirk and Cherbourg could succeed without first neutralizing those guns. Last year, the RAF sent 600 Lancaster bombers over in one night and dropped nearly 4,000 tons of bombs and didn't even crack the walls. And landmines? Everywhere. Enough to blow up an army of paratroopers if they try to land. There is no way to destroy this place except from inside. Oh, there she is, coming out now. Nobody blames you for working for the Germans. You have your mother to look after. Everybody understands. But uh, helping us now is a little uh, insurance policy for later, when the war is over. It's little enough to do. Now, explain to Dennis here everything she needs to know. What are we going to do? I can still do the sewing. My friend Denise will come with you to do the washing until I'm better. But I don't know about this. I'll have to... Hello, Carly. Papers. Stay here. Follow me. So, Corporal, so who's that woman? Well, Captain, the other girl is killed. This one is the face of her. Calm down, will you? You're lying to me. I'm sorry? You're lying. I don't understand. You're not the cousin of that ugly cow who usually comes here to do the laundry. It isn't possible. She's not my cousin. She's just a friend. I hope your friend doesn't recover too soon. I was in trouble there for a moment. Laundry.
station without that, you would suffocate down here. Officers miss there. And your washing machines in here. Usual girls hurt herself. This one is standing in. Certainly an improvement on the last one. <laughs> Sorry, I'll take it. Can I offer you a cup of coffee? Thank you. That would be nice. My friend said there were some lockers. Mm. Over there, over there. One for each officer. Take that to the machine. You bring the next. I'll bring the next one. We'll be done in no time. Mademoiselle? I have been looking for you in the Trois Suisse for days. And suddenly, here you are. I'm sorry, there must be some mistake. Uh, this is the address I have, but it can't be right. Wireless and gramophone supplies, large stocks. No, that's not here. Who is it? Somebody got the wrong house, my lady. Perhaps not. No, there's no mistake. Do come in, Major. Sorry, my lady. Will you have to tell me what's going on? Since you obviously didn't feel that getting me fired was worth an apology. Well, I'm really sorry. That's too late. I had to think of some other strategy to get you over here. Why don't you come upstairs? Excuse me? The drawing room is on the first floor in houses of this period. Second. In America, what you call the first floor, we call the second. It's just as Bernard Shaw says, isn't it? The two countries divided by a common language. Can I offer you a drink? I've got scotch, gin, and white burgundy, but it's been open far too long. Uh, scotch, a little water, thanks. Uh, by the way, the other reason for asking you over is in that box over there. Go ahead, take a look. Sapphire needles by the gross, or bushel, oh, however you weigh them. Best pre-war stock. These are fantastic. Where'd you get these? Boyfriend of mine. I'd like to thank him. That's impossible, I'm afraid. He was shot down 1940. I'm sorry. He was rather a wizard with anything electrical. You'd have had him on your team in a minute. He left lots of things in my garage. You're welcome to go through it if you want. Probably lots of things you can't get anymore. Well, thanks. I will. Do, do sit down. About what happened, I, uh... I never thought for a second that the colonel Let's would... just forget it. I'm working in the Admiralty now. The hours are as bad, but at least there are windows. <laughs> mm. That name you wanted to find must have been someone very important to you yes yes <laughs> is that all i get for my trouble what can i tell you 
Have you known her for long? How do you know it's a her? You don't strike me as someone who'd be that concerned about a he. My brother? No. No, you don't have a brother. I read your file. Then you had the advantage on me because I don't know anything about you. Except I just found out that tonight you're Lady Seabright. <laughs> no, no. Mummy's Lady Seabright because Daddy's Lord. The children get what's called a courtesy title at Lord Jack, Lady Jill, until the eldest boy, naturally, inherits the title proper on their father's death. Complicated. And pretty silly. But there, that's England. Hmm. So, tell me about her. I'm not sure what there is to tell. I, uh, I met her in New York before the war. Were you in love with her? Yes. And is she with you? I thought so, but maybe not enough. And now she's in France. Yeah. I'm going to dinner with a few friends. Do join us, please. Um, thanks, but, but not tonight. Maybe some other time. Thanks again for these. get the last part, I'll have to resend. You've already been on too long. I'm changing wavelength. You can watch your life, I haven't seen. Two, seven. Two, seven. Nine, seven. Nine, seven. Twelve, three. Twelve, three. That was quick. up in Calais. They were on the air for an hour and ten minutes. This morning, our people almost had them. Any progress in breaking their code? Not yet. Berlin's still working. Well, I can make no move up there until I know everything. Send in more vans if you have to. I want that place under a net. You understand? Yes, sir. the electric software. I only ever go in after an air raid to check the systems. Each time it's been met, so I have the keys. The only other set is with the commandant. Well, thank you, Jean-Pierre. I won't forget your help. Or we can be sure that De Gaulle himself will hear this in London. If 
I could think of any other way. There is none. It's your decision. If you refuse, I never mention it again. I understand. My dear. No. I'm all right. It's my decision. I'm perfectly all right. the most beautiful girl in Kelly. Come in. <laughs> I'm only sorry you will not allow me to take you for dinner. Show this beautiful girl to the whole of Kelly. I'm sorry, Bruno. I'd love that. But my family, you understand, it's difficult. Yes, of course. I understand. I'm a most understanding man. Mm. This will be our little secret. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Yours and mine. Ooh. Just the two of us. Mm. They're magnificent. You must know a general to get steaks like those. Actually, a senator. A friend of my grandfather's over here inspecting something, really. Well, bless him for coming. Now, there you are, Sally. And don't overcook them. Oh, no, my lady. Come and have a drink. I found this old book of cocktails from the Savoy before the war. And I'm trying to... Oh, no. They're here already. Um, would you be sweet and let them in? Sure. It's all right, Sally. Carry on with dinner. By the way, Mark's taking us to the 400 Club later. I hope you dance. Badly. Well, that's quite good enough for the 400. <laughs>
if you're on your own. Oh. Uh, we have to get rid of the body. 